Happy Sabbath, church family. Um, I would like to welcome each and every one of you and also the um, online audience. Um, have you ever opened your wardrobe and noticed the amount of clothes you have? I'm sorry, this is an um, image I just got off the internet. No. <laughs> whereby some of it have never been worn or they no longer fit, but have stayed and you have lost track of how long. It's time for a new wardrobe. Our key verse is from Ephesians 4.23, which reads, And be renewed in the spirit of, our, of your mind. Our mind is where judgment happens. Our mind is where intelligence birth, perceptions formed, and imaginations created. These are all powerful faculties and abilities that shapes our character. In, verse, in, in Ephesians 4 verse 22, it reads, that you, put off, that you put off concerning your former conduct, the old man which grows corrupt according to the deceitful last. Paul is urging in this Ephesians, Paul is urging the Ephesians to put away their former attitudes, attitudes that does, does not represent God's ordinances, behaviors that does not represent, that does not keep the counsel of Christ. If we believe and call ourselves ch Christians, our attitudes, our attitudes and Characters and behaviors should reflect our calling. Jesus is our forever present help. The Holy Spirit is our unforeseen helper. In verses 24, it reads, And you put on the new man which was created according to God in true righteousness and holiness. Paul is encouraging them to leave their old ways their old identity, and receive fully their new calling in Christ. My friends, God's calling in your life is the most noble calling. Embrace it and ask God's divine intervention to help implement his ways, his character in your life. In verses 25 to 32, Paul identifies the unworthy ways we must discard as lies, anger, stealing, corrupt conversation, bitterness, rage, slander, and malice. What Paul is merely trying to say is, hey, look, make a choice, take control. Stop doing all these things that are not worthy of your calling. Discard your old ways, like an old coat, old dress, old sweatshirt. Often we'd say, I'll remove these clothes later, or this coat can stay, my friends. Paul is reminding us, be transformed by the renewing of our mind. Sorry. <laughs> that it, be transformed in the renewing of our mind, and that we may be able to prove through our character what is good, what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God in our lives. The time for change is now. The time to change is now. Assign those old those, those old attitudes and behaviors out of your life, just like you assign those unfitting clothes or the old wardrobe to the bin. Let us remove the old us and clothe ourselves in the robe of righteousness, which Isaiah 61 verse 10 mentioned. Our thoughts can be deeply rooted that it becomes strongholds. This turns out to be a place that we find ourselves retreat to unaware. This is why it's very important that we bring all our thoughts captive and submit them in, in ordinances to Christ through repentance and embracing the truth. Put on the new mindset by removing the old mindset, a totally different perspective from the heavenly realm. The devil is a liar. He robs us of everything that God intends us for our inheritance by keeping us wearing the old wardrobe. But we have Jesus who is our mighty fortress, our defender, our refuge, and our strength. Joshua 1.9 reads, 
He promised he will take care of us if we ask him and allow him to. Have I not commanded you, be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid or be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. He is closer than the clothes you wear, for he lives in you. My family in Christ, it's time to have a new wardrobe. Ask Jesus for help. He is sure to help. I know that he helps. Make Jesus your liberating beacon. Seek and set your mind on things above where your loving, Je loving Jesus sits at the right hand of God. Come to him, my friends and families, while we still can hear his voice. He loves us. It's time to be the new us. Our heads in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day, Lord. Thank you for the word we just heard to um, change ourselves, Lord. And we know that Satan is a liar and he's trying to corrupt our destinies, Lord. Thank you for everything. In Jesus' name I pray.